guys, my name is Leona from Superconscious Soul and this is your Divine Feminine reading. So, Divine Feminine can be masculine or feminine, we're not going to get hung up all th about that, but it's about what energy you relate to. And it's also about how to use both your masculine and feminine energies. So, for the Divine Masculine, we got Dance as the Divine Feminine, and for the Divine Feminine, we have Blessings of Al Hakim. Now, what this card is talking about is finding peace. It's almost like the Serenity card, this card, yeah? This is saying that the Divine Feminine is on a, on a journey of soul growth, yeah? It's learning to find peace with situations that aren't uh, no longer working, having the courage, the faith to walk away from certain situations. It's also very much about surrender, but it's not in the dark surrender like the masculine. We have this surrender being a gift, yeah, because what this surrender teaches us is compassion. Yeah, this is about finding love, finding compassion, finding peace within all situations, yeah? Not trying to hold on to waiting for something to happen at a specific time, yeah? This is about almost saying that once you can find the peace within, that is when you will get more into alignment with, with what it is that you're trying to achieve at this time divine feminine so let's have a look we're going to use the bone fire tarot for the divine feminine today i thought that was a really good deck to use so let's have a look for the highest good of all spirit thank you thank you thank you what is the divine feminine energy needing to know at this time Two of Swords. Oh. The Chariot. Stagnation in moving forward. Not knowing whether to move forward with or not. Yeah. Not knowing whether to move forward with something or not. Yeah. Two of Coins in reverse. Something getting out of balance. Yeah. Some kind of energy there that is needing to, could be like feeling like you need to find your inner balance. That's relating to the divine feminine energy there. Needing to find your inner balance whilst you're waiting for your ships to come in. And I feel like that might be hard for you at this time. Nine of Wands, release, surrender letting go of the outcome definitely yeah because the outcome is just keeping you locked up like this yeah there's a division in the mind it's like do i move forward do i not do i leave this behind do i not if you're feeling those thoughts surrender let go because what is meant for you will always come back to you yeah and maybe you have to let go at this time because they have growth to do too, yeah? We also have growth, yeah? Soul growth. Uh, learning how to be um, happy with the unknown, yeah? Not, um, all right, yes, we're the feminine energy. We're receptive. We're connected to the psyche. We're, we follow our intuition, yeah? But we've got to learn. <laughs> to have points when we're not doing that we've got to have points where the divine is in charge and there's nothing we can do about that ace of swords so this is that clarity of thought now we have two minds going to one mind and that's underneath the chariot so that's like overcoming that is that triumph in the mind that is like okay i get it now i get it i really do get it yeah it doesn't matter if we watch a hundred videos about when they're coming back or when this alignment's gonna happen yeah we all have our internal work to do and if we don't do it we're not going to get in alignment and part of our eternal work as a feminine energy is to find peace with that six of cups yeah 
this is being not being t tied emotionally to the past allowing yeah we can have fond memories of it but not being tied to it not letting allowing for change yeah maybe that wasn't the one that we're holding on to yeah four of wands partnership marriage yeah, the Divine Masculine got this too, yeah? Wanting something, wanting one particular person I'm hearing as well, that may be an issue, yeah? I'm hearing polar opposites as well with the Four of Wands, but it works, yeah, for some of you. You may feel like, oh, why do I even like this person? Uh, but it's like it works for some reason. And for others of you, it's like, you're wanting some sort of partnership, some sort of particular look about a partnership. Seven of coins here. This is what's helping you. This is a woman that's like got children here to look after. She's also got a job to do here. This is what's helping you to focus on, like he or she has a decision. Does she nurture the child? It's like the balance between giving that energy to the child and between making the money for that child. So there's some kind of balance that that feminine energy is needing to feel here as well. It's like, yeah, the baby's crying, but I also need to make that money. It's like there's this very strong energy of that. I'm going to take a clarifier for that. All right, that one, yeah. King of Wands. This is that father energy, right? Maybe you're worrying two of wands, partnership, negotiation. Yeah, for some of you... For some of you, the King of Wands is about doing whatever you're doing with passion, yeah? But I also feel, for some of you, there's this thing in your head that oh, when it comes to, when, when this person comes or when this union comes, I'm going to be able to do X, Y, and Z, yeah? Let go of that. Let go of those thoughts, yeah? What are you passionate about with the King of Wands? There's some kind of need to be your own inspiration here. Yeah? Be your own inspiration. Yeah? Tap into that energy. Let me take a card from the Twin Oracle. This has light and dark energy cards. It's the major arcana only. I'm going to see what's coming up for the Divine Feminine. The Hierophant. And we've got the Upright. This is about learning lessons. This is about um, following the rules. This is about spiritual paths. This is about finding that peace yeah we have the dove in the center of this light and dark energy coming into alignment with yourself spiritually coming into alignment with you who you are that oneness of who you are i'm getting from this yeah being almost being a spiritual teacher but without actually doing anything just by allowing that soul growth to happen and underneath the deck in the same way as the masculine we have the empress yeah this is about manifesting from a creative place pushing yourself more into creativity as opposed to logic reason well it should have happened by now and da -da 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 -da. this is about putting yourself and being receptive, allowing things to come to you. She doesn't chase with the Empress. Yeah. But with the Empress, you have to be careful because she manifests from an emotional space. So however you're feeling emotionally is what you're going to manifest. Light or dark. Yeah. And I think that's one of the lessons that we're needing to learn at this time. Pushing yourself more towards creativity and less towards logic at this time is going to help with that because you're not going to be in that repetitive thought which will bring down your emotional energy, which will kind of 
allow you to manifest the darker side. We, we're needing to find that balance there, that peace. Yeah? Needing to find that inner wisdom. Yeah? Needing to go with the flow. We have that big old waterfall. And what the difference is between the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine energy right now is that the Divine Feminine is being totally looked after. She is being abundant while she's doing this work. So, let's have a look at your past life energy. Okay. Woo! Spirituality and religion. This is your soul growth. You're needing to learn this lesson. There is a spiritual lesson that is higher than you've ever learned at this time. This is something that is going to teach you how to find that peace within in all situations. Yeah, this is deep. And underneath the deck for that, I, I wasn't going to do that, but here we are. The arts, yeah putting it into creativity and that might not mean that you're a Picasso that might not mean that you've got an instrument to pick up it might mean that you're just redoing your curtains maybe you're flower arranging maybe you're you're tending your garden maybe you're just redoing the house a little bit maybe you're doing work on yourself maybe you're just listening to music that you really enjoy because that takes you to a higher vibration maybe you're you're writing down um what you're grateful for yeah but it's being put into some kind of creativity something that will manifest um in the higher realm for you yeah now it's not about logic because between the hierophant and the empress we have the emperor it's not about manifesting through logic right now it's about manifesting through creativity, through putting that energy into that, and before you know it, that peace is being obtained. So, let's have a look at your romance angels. Oh, I didn't pull the other deck as well, I'll do that in a minute. Keep an eye on time. Just saw 12.22. Okay, so, new love. Yeah? A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, Divine Feminine. And they're definitely sent by the angels here. We have her surrounded by angels. Express your love. Somebody may be coming to express their love to you. We do have that Ace of Swords in the center there. And we have Reconciliation. So it's saying something from your past is returning to your life. But maybe in a new way. We also got love yourself first here, yeah? Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Of course it does. I'm going to pull some cards from my deck here. This is like a Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine deck that I've put together quickly. Oh, Karmic Completion for the Divine Feminine too. Nice. I'm sorry for lying about my feelings, yeah? Somebody wants to express that to you in order to have this reconciliation. And maybe that's where it's the new love. Maybe they're finishing a karmic completion, wanting to come forward to express so that they can have some sort of reconciliation. A miracle happens. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Um, and underneath the deck, we have so happy together. Okay, so that is how to find your peace, Divine Feminine. We're going to have a look at, in fact, we'll look at the Vera Sibilio. Let's see what they're saying. It's the highest good of all strength. Okay. Disgrazia. There may be some kind of situation that causes some kind of karmic completion. And maybe because of that energy, the masculine comes towards you as their peace. Yeah. Okay. 
So we have the precious, um, the precious gifts. They want to present this gift to you. It may not be an actual physical gift. It may just be the expression. The um, maybe they was being very emotionally cold to you before. So now they're coming with these feelings, and it's like a box of um, goodies there. A miracle happens. Let's have a look at that. Woo! Prison? We did not see that coming. Okay, why prison? Okay, why is somebody feeling chained? Priest? Very interesting. I feel like somebody may be coming to tell you that they are divorcing from a situation or they're being released <laughs> from prison to go and see a doctor. No, I'm joking. They're being or they're being released from some kind of this also shows to me that karmic completion. Yeah, we have the priest and the prison. Yeah, this could be the miracle that happens that allows them to reconcile. We also have the room. Okay, so. I feel like a room is going to get trashed or there's some kind of really massive argument or disgrace that happens that causes somebody to come forward to you. Now, I think this is where the compassion is needed, Divine Feminine. They're wanting to come and firstly express their feelings, and then secondly, they're wanting to come and maybe tell you about a situation that's happened. Okay, so let's have a look at the Dream Decoder deck. So this is about the unconscious, the subconscious. Things that we're not aware of. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. Deceased people. Yeah. This is talking about departing loved ones. Um, it can also about telling you to look for signs from people that have passed in the afterlife that want to um, kind of show you that they're around or that they're there. Yeah. Um, I also feel that you may be helping someone to overcome their grief. Yeah, maybe you're, you're helping. It's like, yeah, you're helping them to overcome something that was really strong in their life. Yeah, but it could also talk about unfinished business or, or lack of clarity in a situation. And I feel like they're coming in to give you some kind of clarity. It also talks about things that are haunting people so it's like perhaps an old lover or a regret so they're coming in to give you some kind of information that's balancing this situation here so my lovelies i really do hope that has helped you in some way if you would like a personal reading all the information is in the box below if you haven't liked shared and subscribed already or even commented then why not um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'd really appreciate that. And you get the daily uplifts for the, on there um, from me. Um, okay, so, yeah, take care. Bye-bye.